Now, our next guest, Michael Davis, has been called unusual, but personally, I prefer to call him brilliant and maybe just a little bit weird. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Davis. My name is Michael Davis. <clears throat> Thank you. Before I begin my act, I'd like to explain an old show business expression. They say a comic says funny things, but a comedian says things funny. That makes me a juggler. <laughs> but I have an unusual philosophy about the art of juggling. I don't think it's important how many. <laughs> Style. <laughs> oh, but you want to be impressed. I'd like to show you something that I call juggling on a motorcycle. <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> it's a form of rhetorical juggling. It doesn't require that you catch it. It sort of makes you wonder. It's just unusual. See, I explore the world of the unusual, where the commonplace is considered ordinary. The everyday happens daily. Things can happen that we don't understand or even care about. How does he do it? <laughs> what strange talents does it take to succeed? In show business. <laughs> Pay no attention to that hand behind that curtain. <laughs> the tiny ball. And yet, you may wonder, <laughs> what is unusual? That is unusual. <laughs> what I've learned to do is to spit this ball high in the air and catch it with my mouth. <laughs> now you may wonder, <laughs> why would a man learn to spit that tiny ball? it with his mouth. I don't know. But why would anyone want to watch? This is extremely dangerous. If I were to swallow this ball, it would hurt. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> I must wash it off because it gets disgusting. <laughs> and now I will attempt the even more unusual. Wash it off one more time.
Because in the quest for the unusual, the hard part is thinking of it. <laughs> then it's merely practice. You can learn to juggle anything. For instance, this very unusual water juggling. <laughs> Thank you.